The Three Principles of the People, also translated as Three People's Principles, San Min Doctrine, or Tritomism is a political philosophy developed by Sun Yat-sen as part of a philosophy to make China a free, prosperous, and powerful nation. The Three Principles are often translated into and summarized as nationalism, democracy, and the livelihood of the people. He believed that the economic livelihood of the people, its influence and legacy of implementation, is most apparent in the governmental organization of the Republic of China ROC, which currently administers Taiwan, Penghu, Kamoi, and Matsu Islands. This philosophy has been claimed as the cornerstone of the Republic of China's policy as carried by the Kuomintang KMT. The principles also appear in the first line of the national anthem of the Republic of China. Topic. Origins In 1894 when the Revive China Society was formed, Sun only had two principles, nationalism and democracy. He picked up the third idea, welfare, during his three-year trip to Europe from 1896 to 1898. He announced all three ideas in the spring of 1905, during another trip to Europe. Sun made the first speech of his life on the Three Principles of the People. In Brussels, he was able to organize the Revive China Society in many European cities. There were about 30 members in the Brussels branch at the time, 20 in Berlin, and 10 in Paris. After the Tongmenghui was formed, Sun published an editorial in Min Bao. Min Bao. This was the first time the ideas were expressed in writing. Later on, in the anniversary issue of Min Bao, his long speech of the Three Principles was printed, and the editors of the newspaper discussed the issue of people's livelihood. The ideology is said to be heavily influenced by Sun's experiences in the United States and contains elements of the American progressive movement and the thought championed by Abraham Lincoln. Sun credited a line from Lincoln's Gettysburg Address, Government of the People, by the People, for the People, as an inspiration for the Three Principles. Dr. Sun's Three Principles of the People are interconnected as the guideline for China's modernization development as stretched by Hu Hanman. Topic: The Principles. Topic: Minzu. The principle of Minzu, Min Zu Zu Yi, Min Zu Zu Yi, is commonly rendered as nationalism, literally populism, or rule, government of the people. Minzu, people, clearly describing a nation rather than a group of persons united by a purpose, hence the commonly used and rather accurate translation, nationalism. By this, Sun meant independence from imperialist domination. To achieve this, he believed that China must develop a China nationalism, Zhonghua Minzu, as opposed to an ethnic nationalism, so as to unite all of the different ethnicities of China, mainly composed by the five major groups of Han, Mongols, Tibetans, Manchus, and the Muslims, such as the Uyghurs, which together are symbolized by the five-color flag of the First Republic, 1911 to 1928. This sense of nationalism is different from the idea of ethnocentrism which equates to the same meaning of nationalism in Chinese language. To achieve this he believed that China must develop a national consciousness, so as to unite the Han in the face of imperialist aggression. He argued that Minzu, which can be translated as people, nationality, or race, were defined by sharing common blood, livelihood, religion, language and customs. Topic. Minquan The principle of Minquan, Min Quan Zu Yi Min Quan Zu Yi is usually translated as democracy, literally, the people's power, or government by the people. To Sun, it represented a Western constitutional government. He divided political life of his ideal for China into two sets of powers, the power of politics and the power of governance. The power of politics are the powers of the people to express their political wishes, similar to those vested in the citizenry or the parliaments in other countries, and is represented by the National Assembly. 
There are four of these powers, election, zan ju recall, ba mi and initiative, chuang ji and referendum. Fu these may be equated to civil rights. The power of governance, ji quan ji quan, are the powers of administration. Here he expanded the European-American constitutional theory of a three-branch government and a system of checks and balances by incorporating traditional Chinese administrative tradition to create a government of five branches each of which is called a yuan, yuan yuan, literally, court. The legislative yuan, the executive yuan, and the judicial yuan came from Montesquieu thought, the control yuan and the examination yuan came from Chinese tradition. Note that the legislative yuan was first intended as a branch of governance, not strictly equivalent to a national parliament. <laughs> Min Sheng The principle of Min Sheng, Min Sheng Zu Yi, Min Sheng Zu Yi is sometimes translated as the people's welfare, livelihood, government for the people. The concept may be understood as social welfare and as a direct criticism of the inadequacies of both socialism and capitalism. Here he was influenced by the American thinker Henry George. Sun intended to introduce a George's tax reform. The land value tax in Taiwan is a legacy thereof. Sun Yat-sen said that land value taxes, the only means of supporting the government is an infinitely just, reasonable, and equitably distributed tax, and on it we will found our new system. He divided livelihood into four areas, clothing, food, housing, and health care, and planned out how an ideal Chinese government can take care of these for its people. Sun died before he was able to fully explain his vision of this principle and it has been the subject of much debate within both the Chinese nationalist and communist parties, with the latter suggesting that Sun supported socialism. Dr. Sun transliterated Min Sheng in the Chinese context but did not address in full detail before he died. Chiang Kai-shek further elaborated the Min Sheng principle of both the importance of social well-being and recreational activities for a modernized China in 1953 in Taiwan. <laughs> Canon The most definite canonical exposition of these principles was a book compiled from notes of speeches that Sun gave near Guangzhou, taken by a colleague, Huang Changgu, in consultation with Sun, and therefore is open to interpretation by various parties and interest groups see below, and may not have been as fully explicated as Sun might have wished. Indeed, Chiang Kai-shek supplied an annex to the principle of Min Sheng, covering two additional areas of livelihood, education and leisure, and explicitly arguing that Min Sheng was not to be seen as supporting either communism or socialism. The French historian of Chinese history, Marie-Claire Berger's view is that the book is a work of propaganda. Its purpose is to appeal to action rather than to thought. As Sun Yat-sen declared, a principle is not simply an idea, it is a faith, a power. Topic. Legacy The three principles of the people were claimed as the basis for the ideologies of the Kuomintang under Chiang Kai-shek, of the Communist Party of China under Mao Zedong, and of the reorganized national government of China under Wang Jingwei. The Kuomintang and the Communist Party of China largely agreed on the meaning of nationalism but differed sharply on the meaning of democracy and people's welfare, which the former saw in Western social democratic terms and the latter interpreted in Marxist and communist terms. The Japanese collaborationist government interpreted nationalism less in terms of anti-imperialism and more in terms of cooperating with Japan to advance theoretically pan-Asian, but in practice, typically Japanese interests. Topic. Taiwan There were several higher education institutes university departments, faculties and graduate institutes in Taiwan that used to devote themselves to the research and development of the three principles in this aspect. Since the late 1990s, these institutes have reoriented themselves so that other political theories are also admitted as worthy of consideration, and have changed their names to be more ideologically neutral, such as Democratic Studies Institute. In addition to this institutional phenomenon, many streets and businesses in Taiwan are named San Min, or for one of the three principles. 
In contrast to other politically derived street names, there has been no major renaming of these streets or institutions in the 1990s. Although the term Sanmin Zuyi San Min Zuyi has been less explicitly invoked since the mid-1980s, no major political party has explicitly attacked its principles. The three principles of the people remains explicitly part of the platform of the Kuomintang and in the constitution of the Republic of China. As for Taiwan independence supporters, some have objections regarding the formal constitutional commitment to a particular set of political principles. Also, they have been against the mandatory indoctrination in schools and universities, which have now been abolished in a piecemeal fashion beginning in the late 1990s. However, there is little fundamental hostility to the substantive principles themselves. In these circles, attitudes toward the three principles of the people span the spectrum from indifference to reinterpreting the three principles of the people in a local Taiwanese context rather than in a pan-Chinese one. Topic. Vietnam The Vietnam Revolutionary League was a union of various Vietnamese nationalist groups, run by the pro-Chinese Vietnam Quoc Dan Dang. The Vietnam Quoc Dan Dang translates directly into Vietnamese Kuomintang, and it was based on the Chinese Kuomintang Party. Its stated goal was for unity with China under the three principles of the people, an opposition to Japanese and French imperialists. The Revolutionary League was controlled by Nguyen Hythen, who was born in China and could not speak Vietnamese. General Zhang Fukui shrewdly blocked the communists of Vietnam, and Ho Chi Minh from entering the League, as his main goal was Chinese influence in Indochina. The KMT utilized these Vietnamese nationalists during World War II against Japanese forces. Tibet. The pro Kuomintang and pro Rock Kamba revolutionary leader Pandatsing Rapka, who established the Tibet Improvement Party, adopted Dr. Sun's ideology including the three principles, incorporating them into his party and using Sun's doctrine as a model for his vision of Tibet after achieving his goal of overthrowing the Tibetan government. Pandatsing Rapka hailed the three principles of Dr. Sun for helping Asian peoples against foreign imperialism and called for the feudal system to be overthrown. Rapga stated that, The Sanmin Zuyi was intended for all peoples under the domination of foreigners, for all those who had been deprived of the rights of man. But it was conceived especially for the Asians. It is for this reason that I translated it. At that time, a lot of new ideas were spreading in Tibet. During an interview in 1975 by Dr. Heather Stoddard. Dr. Sun's ideology was put into a Tibetan translation by Rapka. He believed that change in Tibet would only be possible in a manner similar to when the Qing dynasty was overthrown in China. He borrowed the theories and ideas of the Kuomintang as the basis for his model for Tibet. The party was funded by the Kuomintang and by the Pandatsing family. Topic: Singapore The establishment of the People's Power Party in May 2015 by opposition politician Go Meng Seng marks the first time in contemporary Singaporean politics that a political party was formed with the three principles of the people and its system of having five branches of government as espoused by Sun Yat-sen as its official guiding ideology. The People's Power Party has adapted the ideas with a slight modification to the concepts of the five powers in order to stay relevant to modern contemporary political and social structures. The emphasis is put on the separation of the five powers which naturally means the separation of certain institutions from the executive's control. The power of impeachment originally under the control yuan has been expanded to include various contemporary functional government institutions. Examples include the Corrupt Practices Investigation Bureau, Advocacy of Ombudsman Commission, Equal Opportunity Commission, Free Press and Freedom of Expression. The power of examination has been adapted and modified to fit the modern concept of selection for both political leaders as well as civil servants. This involves institutions like the Elections Department and Public Service Commission. The People's Power Party advocates that the institutions included in these two powers, namely the power of impeachment and the power of selection, to be put under the supervision of Singapore's elected president.
Topic See also National Revolutionary Army Wampoa Military Academy History of the Republic of China Politics of the Republic of China The Six Arrows Pancasila politics <laughs>